not really an endorsement that you want to hear from the promoter going into a fight on national television, any fight on national television, that he said that he trained, as you talked about, with De La Cruz for this fight, not with his usual trainer, and the training just wasn't right. I don't think it's going to matter. I think that for Chuma, as I said in the fight plan, and I said in the setup, I think he's going to get him out of there real quick. And he's obviously got that in his mind. Oh, good night. Beautiful left hook from Javier Fortuna. The training did not make that much of a difference, Teddy, as you were stating. No, because talent is talent. And that's why I said that it would end very early, because to me, this was a mismatch when it was made. But Zamudio just does not belong in the ring with Fortuna. First time out of not only Mexico, but his home state. And he just has his hands down. He's going to get clipped again. And Javier Fortuna is all over him. They call him a bumblebee because of his power. And his now, all that feet. Fortuna has to do now. Oh, that's sure he sets up the power punch. It's out for all left hand. And that's what he did. And it's all over. And again, a mismatch when the contract was signed. Why can I stand here and say that it's going to be an early round, an early night? Why can I say on the fight plan with Fortuna? I mean, this is a scary knockout for Miguel Zamudio, and that's what happens. You put a fighter at risk when you put him in against a top-level opponent. Calling an interim title. First of all, it's absurd that you're in a business that has interim titles. I mean, the, the good human man. Every event that it takes place in professional boxing, has an ambulance at the ready, has... Need to do. Let's take a look at the first knockdown. It's the power punch for the southpaw, the left hand. You know, the same punch that an orthodox fighter would throw from the right side, he throws from the left. You can turn your back into it. You can put your body into it. And again, that's why I picked this fight to end early. Zamudio, no head movement, chin up in the air, stand straight, a good target. And again, there's the end of the fight. What he does there is he slips the right hand. The right hand was coming from Zamudio watching. He slips it, makes it miss, and makes him pay. Slips the punch, creates an opening, and Fortuna, with those quick hands, right there you can see it. He closed that opening. You can see the back, you know, the, the eyes rolled back. No, see, I disagree with you. He got hurt, you're right. You, but it's very dip, and he lands the left hand right on the chin. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Tropicana Casino and Resort in Atlantic City, New Jersey, your referee in charge, Eddie Cotton, calls a halt to the bout at one minute, eight seconds of the first round. Your winner by knockout, still undefeated, Javier and Abejón.